We are going to turn now to the concerning rise in gastrointestinal cancers worldwide, including right here in America, affecting adults under 50 more than ever. A new study looking at about 10 years of data shows that colorectal cancer increased by 3.4% annually in adults under 40 in the U.S. Pancreatic cancer increased by 2.4% annually in adults under 50. And gastric cancer in the U.S. in U.S. women under 40 increased by 4%. Per year, troubling numbers indeed. ABC's medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Sutton, is here to break it all down. So, what is happening here? Because this is happening to younger adults. Yeah, and it's confirming what we've all been suspecting. If you've been online, you've heard personal stories. Many of us have heard stories from our friends, our coworkers. Younger and younger are people getting diagnosed with cancer. And as for what's behind these rates, Geo, there's a complex uh, reason. There's a complex uh, multitude of reasons from the evidence, and there are some leading risk factors that have been cited in this study. For example, obesity city ultra processed food consumption, lack of physical activity, exposure to alcohol and smoking. But it's important to note that these are not just about individual choices. They're also about access to healthy foods, affordable spaces, to have spaces, safe spaces to work out, and also the time to prioritize. So it's a combination of biology, behavior, and the broader systems that affect our health. So what's the best way to lower your cancer risk? Yeah. Well, there are certain things that we all can do to lower our risk. I think what's important to understand is you won't bring that risk to zero. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that, but there are some things that you can change in your lifestyle. For example, our diet. We've found evidence that fiber-rich diets, cruciferous vegetables, uh, leafy greens have been associated with a reduction in the rate of colorectal cancer. Geo, there's studies that show that 10 grams of dietary fiber a day can be associated with an approximate 10% reduction in risk. You also want to avoid red meats and processed foods. By the WHO standards, World Health, Health Organization, they're labeled as carcinogens. So you want to make sure to reduce that amount in your diet as much as possible. Get Getting that regular exercise and then also making sure that you visit your physician and talk to your provider. Well, and you talk to them because you want that early detection that's Absolutely. so important here. Yeah. And it's really, really important. Less than 65% of adults go to their annual routine visits. That's how many of these cases are found. But it's also about talking about your symptoms. If you have chronic abdominal pain, changes in your bowel movement, so you're feeling chronic discomfort in any way, shape, or form, you want to make sure to get that evaluated. And then at the age of 40, everyone should start having conversations about screenings, not just, we're talk not just about colonoscopies, but mammograms, prostate screenings, all of the above, making sure that you're having these conversations early and being proactive.